Uh, how's it going, everyone? Uh, Oilfield Basics requested uh, some videos, so I figured out a, I have a bunch, but I figure I'll make a video real quick, just uh, some real, a real basic kind of rundown of uh, a, a simple operation. So um, I'll try to do it kind of quick and. Uh, I won't. I won't talk about anything too technical. All right, so here we go. So um, got the pump jack, and over there we got the tanks and the separator, and right there we have the gas metering system. Uh, this pump jack actually runs on. That, it's a it's a Kohler engine. Uh, it uses the gas, you can see the line right there, produced, um, that the well produces, so you, there's a mess right now, uh, the, the packing got loose not long ago, but, um, so, it goes from right here to the engine, and that's what makes the engine run, um, so, right here you have your polish rod, and, uh, you got your bridle right there, and then you got your horse head. Um, this is where the packing goes. So you got packing in here. Um, that's what keeps it from not spraying everywhere. It's kind of like packing going up on a, uh, just any kind of shaft, like a boat or something. You want it to kind of come out a tiny, tiny bit because you don't want it to burn up, but... So you got your wellhead um, and your tubing, and you got your rods inside. So that's that's your tubing. You know that's your casing right here. This is four and a half inch casing. It's not big casing. Um, so typically, <clears throat> the fluid comes out of the tubing, and then the gas and stuff comes out of the casing there, and then they co-mingle right here, um, and they go through this line. And it goes to over there, and then you go to the separator, which is over here for this well. All right, so that's your uh, three-phase separator because this well does do uh, oil and gas and water. So if it was just um. Oil and water, or oil and gas, I and mean, you just get a two phase, but this is a three phase. Um, so, right there, the, the, these separators have two floats in them uh, one's for the water dump and one for the um, oil dump. So, this is the oil dump. In here, in, the, in, in there, there's like a um, it, it's kind of like a, a, a straight line that goes down the middle and then the gas comes out from on top of there because gas is lighter than everything but so what what, what you have is um the water the, uh, the oil is lighter than the water so it eventually when enough oil gets in there it goes over the side of this of this of this um this uh, separator or the, the separated part inside the separator. And uh, then you get enough in this dump and that go, it, it, the float goes up and then it dumps the oil into the tank over there, which is that tank right there. Um, and then when it dumps all the oil, it, it, the float goes down and stops and it just keeps doing that. And uh, same with the water, you know, there's another float. There's a certain amount of water. The um, dump goes down and then it goes and it goes into the other tank right now so the water comes out of this one the oil comes out of that one and um, then the gas comes up there so with the gas you're always gonna have line pressure on there it's probably like 40 or 50 right now so that's a back uh, back pressure regulator you have to have enough pressure to to shoot it through the um, to shoot the gas into the pipeline because the pipeline is pressured up um, so this is a back pressure regulator to make sure you have enough pressure 
to shoot it in the pipeline. Now, I mean, you want to always have as least amount of pressure as possible because if you have 50 pounds that you push it into the um, into the pipeline, that means you have 50 pounds of pressure down in the hole. That's um, it's not letting your it's um, you know constricting your perfs with 50 pounds compared to say you got it down to 20 pounds with a gas compressor, then you would have you know that much more entry because right the more pressure the more the entry is restricted. So you want to have as least amount of pressure as possible, and that's why people really quick gas compressors. Um, so the gas comes right here and it goes through, it goes into the um, the meter into that poly and then it goes into the meter and then you have the metering system right here and um, it just shoots through so that's basically it the gauge pressure right now is 35 actually so right now we have 35 pounds on uh, you know the bottom of the hole over there which could be worse sometimes it's a lot higher um, and that's basically it. If you have questions, you're free to shoot them to me. I uh, hope this helps out. And I'll uh, try to put some more, uh, you know, throughout time. And that is a basic setup. All right.